I'm Chuck Kavoris. Bill Allen. Allen. Lance Lopez. Craig Cock here. We're in the studio of Doom. <laughs> studio Slide, of Doom. Slide Away Studios. Uh, the concept of the the interview here is about how the Bugs Henderson thing, thing uh, came about, the tribute. I'll let Bill start it out. Bugs Henderson is a legendary Texas blues guitarist uh, who came up during the, well, Freddie King era was uh, one of his, his good friends, and uh, Stevie Ray certainly was a protege, and, and, and Jimmy Vaughn and uh, Eric Johnson, that whole group of players were around when I was coming up in Dallas in the 70s and my brother Sherman and I became very good friends with Bugs Henderson and his family through the years and they would come visit us out in Los Angeles and uh, we just became like family after a while. Uh, cut to about two years ago we find out Bugs is very sick with uh, liver cancer and after chemo, it took him out within six months. Good Lord. So here we are <clears throat> about 18 months later, and Chuck Kavoris, our good friend who, who runs Slideway Studios out here, got to meet Bugs and see him at one of his last gigs out here. And uh, he birthed the idea of coming up with a tribute album for Bugs, not only the music that he wrote, but the music that he's most known for. So we have a Texas connection, some people, some friends of Bugs back in Texas putting some music together, and then this is the Los Angeles contingency, so Chuck can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, like I, I said earlier before we got Sorry. going, um, when I met Bugs, I went to the, the show at the Pig and Whistle, they were hosting the jam there, and um, he was the feature that night, and I wore my Freddie King shirt because I knew he was connected to Freddie. I didn't know that he never played with Freddie, though, and... Um, I, he told me that that night. I always thought he was in his band, but he never was. So um, I was so moved by the way he played and, and being so far behind knowing him. I was just, you know, it was just great to connect with somebody missing the link, you know. So I offered to bring him in the studio the next time he was in town and say, hey, on me, please come in. We get the situation where I can track live, do half a record in one day, and I'll be happy to do it. And then... Uh, he said, well, we'll talk about it. He was really sweet and made me stand up with my Freddie King shirt on. Tonight's Sun House, by the way. Yeah. But um, <laughs> um, anyhow, uh, <clears throat> I was sad. That was November. And then by January, like Bill said, he it was already being this, this uh, what do you call it, uh, known that he had this cancer. So uh, we <clears throat> were trying furiously to put this record to rest before the benefit in Dallas last March, mm -hmm. a year ago. But the other people, we didn't want to hurt other people's feelings back east because, uh, I, they, you know, they go like, "Who's this guy, Chuck? He doesn't know Bugs. We played with Bugs, so we had to be totally <laughs> respectful of all that." And so we, Jimmy Wallace and all those guys from from Dallas, we started communicating. I met Jimmy at guitar shows years ago, and by by that we decided we would do project here and project there, and. They're underway there. There's a couple songs cut already, and Jimmy's got a three or four more to do. We're pretty close to the end here. We were thrilled to have Greg here today, and I'm thrilled to have met Lance through these guys. I never met Lance till two years ago. And so the connection, it's a small world, as we say, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so that's how it all came about. Is that, So I decided to, to, to roll with this. We got some great celebrity guitar players. I don't call them celebrities. They're just friends, but they're well-known guitar players. Uh, Steve Lukather, Vivian Campbell, Kirk Fletcher. Um, you're on it. You're on it. Um, Snuffy Wallen's going to be on it. Um, who am I missing? There's some. There's some other guys that have played on it. It's escaping me right now. But um, the Allen Brothers are on a track. We're going to have Ray Wiley Hubbard on it. Um, Hoffa is going to be on it from Rockstar in Excess. That kid, wonderful player. Yeah. Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. Oh, Sugar Ray singing on it. Yeah, right. Oh, Billy Yates from Outlaws played on it. Um, a lot of nut named drummers and bass players. Uh, just a whole cavalcade of people to help use their celebrity to bring sales, if you will. It's just it's kind of simple formula. It's like if you put a record with people that are known, the, the fans will buy it. So we want the funds to go to uh, Bugs' family. Um it's just been fun. It's been it's like it's not really work. 
but it's taking time. It's taking a year, which you know. So it was a year ago now that it started when Paul Reed Smith's on it. That's right, and his guitar player. That was the how the dates. One of the first dates, and uh, some other people that you know. So that's it. That's all I can interject here. There it is in a nutshell. Right, and I, you know, I, I was involved. I got involved with the project through Bill. Which you know we have a, a Texas connection um, to mutual friends and, and Bill and Sherman. Like Bill was saying earlier, Bill grew up in Dallas in the, in the era of really the the prime of that um, scene when you know Steve Ray Vaughan was playing in clubs and Eric Johnson and every that was all a burgeoning scene. Um, uh, I'm a I'm a bit younger, so I came in at the, the latter part when. Um, all those guys that were the heroes, and Bugs was still there, and and, and he uh, grew up the same thing, watching Bugs and I. Bugs's sons and daughter were the same age as me, so we were friends. So we kind of grew up together. So I grew up with Bugs's kids, and um, you know, um, Bugs really lended a lot of advice, a lot of guidance, that those sort of things, and. Of course, we all would go watch him and just learn so much from Bugs, and and uh, so it was it was a big honor. I, I participated in the uh, in the tribute concert that Bugs was talk. I mean that um, sorry that Chuck was talking about for Bugs in Dallas on March fourth of of twenty twelve, and um, that was probably was probably two or three days before Bugs passed. So uh, he was uh, he was still holding on. So it was really cool that. Um, uh, he was uh, able to. Paul Reed Smith actually called um, via cell phone and had him on speaker and let the the crowd, you know, tell him that they loved him and and uh, which was really cool. And uh, but had a lot of other great guitar players there. I mean, we had Andy Timmons, mm -hmm. we had uh, Van <clears throat> Wilkes, um, you know, and a lot of of John Nitzinger, who played with Bugs in the in the set early seventies and. They were a big regional act. I mean, you know, in the '70s, I mean, they opened for Yes and, you know, Kiss and Everybody Ted Nugent. Yeah. yeah, all the big, big rock arena bands. John Nitzinger and Bugs opened. They were the, they were openers. You know, much like Billy Gibbons was with the Moving Sidewalks, or Jimmy Vaughn was with the Chessmen. John and John Nitzinger and, and Bugs Henderson were were that of that same category as well. So they were big for Texas and in our region they were big big giant heroes for us. And uh, so, you know, and, and really and when Bugs got sick and we started losing, that's when we really started to realize how big of a hero he really was. And so when Bill um, reached out to me to do the project like Chuck was talking about, they they are Jimmy Wallace who's a uh, very, very close to your friend of me, mine, and and also, um, and of my family's. I mean, he's, you know, he he also um, uh, was was part of that too. He was, uh, you know, and he he does the Dallas Guitar Show now and, and everything else. But uh, those guys were our heroes. I mean, you know, Jimmy and I mean Dimebag Daryl. I mean, he was. They were those were big heroes. Bugs and Jimmy Wallace were big heroes of Dimebags, and and so. We uh, so when they when they when I was you know Bill reached out to me to be on the project it was a big honor so um, I'm, I'm out in LA a lot working and playing gigs so it just I was here so it made sense to go ahead and you know participate in this as well because like you said Jimmy was uh, Chuck said Jimmy was is putting together some stuff there but I was here and just available and it just happened happened uh, to, to to link up and it's a big honor it was an honor to be a part of the the tribute concert. It's an honor to be a part of this tribute CD because, I mean, without Bugs Henderson's inspiration or guidance or just knowing him, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today as far as being a blues player. So, you know, he kind of, he really, he, exp he, he furthered, you know, I saw Stevie <clears throat> Ray Vaughan right before Stevie passed. So he furthered, he was, you know, he furthered that after I, you know, um, uh, discovered that you know Bugs was there. Poor David's Pub. You, you remember back in the sure, those sure. days sure. in Greenville yeah. Avenue and and everything in Dallas. So he was it was so available for us to go see and and uh, learn from. So what was great about Bugs is a lot of his contemporaries, Freddie, Stevie Ray, uh, and, and the cemeteries are in 
fortunately full of these guys that weren't able to mature as artists while you got to see bugs really carry that youthful fire and watch it mature right and and as a zen artist become more simple in in his lines and and his melodies and and his his guitar work was uh, that much deeper and rich because we got to see him mature through the years and not derail like like a lot of these guys did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was like a like a fine wine. I know it's a cliche thing, yeah, absolutely, but, absolutely, but it definitely was. And, definitely and since was. he was such an impressive guitarist, you didn't uh, necessarily think about his songwriting much. So that's part of why we're doing this project is to shine a light on his songwriting abilities also. And uh, with the caliber of musicians and players we're bringing in, it really brings out the songwriting. I think people are just going to be knocked out by, by what he was able to do with just a pen and, and his acoustic. And, and I meant to mention earlier, it was when, I, when Bill started giving me the catalog, I, <coughs> I had no idea he did 20 years of recordings. So there was, it was daunting to go through the material and figure who should play on what. Hence, Greg is here today through my association with Steve at Wildwood, and uh, I, I met you for five seconds at the, the Crossroads show, but you were busy messing with the guitar. And, uh, we were all busy at the and, Crossroads and, uh, show. <laughs> yeah, so, so I never met Greg till today, really, and uh, we're so blessed that he's on this project because it was somebody else that we really thought would add some fire to this thing, and we actually cut a song that was really suited for everybody here, and... Uh, like I said, it was daunting to pick all the material, like what's best for who, and some of the guitar players were kind of re hesitant about what they wanted to play on. They wanted, like, should be newer or older, and some of the guys just, just jumped in. They didn't. They just jumped in, and those are the best performances, to be honest, and um, that's what he did today. He had no reservations about what they played. Give me a guitar. Let's go. So thank you very much. It was a pleasure. <clears throat> Absolutely. Absolute pleasure. And uh, I'm very honored to be involved with the whole project, to be honest with you. I didn't know Bugs. I always knew of Bugs. As a matter of fact, the only conversation I had with him, I believe, was on the ancient technology of MySpace. At some wow. point in time, I got a right? I was like, Bug Henderson, you're going to be kidding me. <laughs> so I was always a fan from afar. So to be involved with this thing is a, is a true honor. So I awesome. thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Nice. Thank you. And uh, we hope to be through with it this spring uh it's now january 22nd and there's a couple more people to do here then i've got to mix the songs i've done and then we're going to combine it with the releases in dallas and uh somebody's going to decide what the it's probably going to be a double cd at this point yeah. and even though cds are passe maybe there'll be uh an itunes account or something for no doubt, well. no yeah. doubt. You, and, you will find <coughs> it and you'll be amazed this is great great work it's just so fitting that you know we have Good All these project. great guitar players involved in this project because because Bugs was so influential to us in Texas and that we have so many other influential artists, you know, involved in this project that it, it is a it is a true a really a true tribute and uh, it just speaks uh, volumes for you know the influence that he had just on us in Texas as Texas guitar players, you know that now we it's it's branched out into. So many. It's not just um, you know. It's it's not just a Texas project, like a you know, just a, a, a thing we could have done with all Texas guys. It was just spanned the the <clears> entire <throat> um, um, multitude of great guitar players to have such a fitting tribute that it's just it's going to be so special, and that's just such a true honor and 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 uh, tribute to Bugs, a real tribute, true. you know, for that influence. Amen. So, so find it. Buy it and rock it. Be it. Do it. <laughs> Thank you. Adios, Wildwood people. <laughs>